Welcome back to more Lord of the Rings Online. In the last episode, I was over at the Foundations of Stone, and I think I'm done with the quests in there for the most part. I may have missed a few along the way, but I'll get back to them once I plug everything into my completionist checklist more towards the end of the season. For now, I'm going to start doing some instances within the Foundations of Stone. There are three of them. There is Skumfil, there is the Dark Delvings, and there is the 16th Hall. The 16th hall is kind of in between the Foundations of Stone and Nude Melek, so I'm going to save that one for last. In fact, I'm probably going to do Scumfill this episode, Dark Delving is the next one, and then I'll head to Nude Melek and come back to the 16th hall at some point. So similar to the Forges and the Stairs and Phil Goshen, the quests kind of branch out depending on some original quests. So for example, we need to open up all those quests through this guy. And nameless things we face in Moria, I know not. I have dispatched my agents to meet with the elves who came to the Shadowed Refuge. They are at the Foundations of Stone now, and they all have tasks that I set them to. We are too few in numbers to undertake them to our own. I would ask that you complete all the tasks set forth by Malas, Thruster, and Gellerwin, then return to me. We must understand better the foes that we face out of that dark place. You can find my agents and our elf allies within the Shattered Refuge, located to the southeast of the 21st Hall. Alright, so that's going to open up a bunch of quests in the Shattered Refuge for the instances. Let me see if any of these have a Scumfill quest, since that's the one I'm going to be doing this episode. We have little time to speak. Great events have been set in motion. Again, these guys, I know I've said it a million times, but just in case you're joining us now, they'll do some repeatable quests for the six Moria instances, and depending on the day of the week, They'll give you different quests, so I lucked out. He has a scum fill quest for me today, so I can pick that up since I'm going to be doing it. So you are the mighty warden of whom everybody has spoken well. Word of your valor and courage has reached my ears, but seeing as I am a disbelieving sort, I would like to see what you are made of for the sort of challenge I have to offer. Many great and wicked things nest in the rot of scum fill, Kippen. One such great creature is the Kurgrim King, Grim Grimreaver. The corpse of orcs Nur nourish his minions, and he grows strong and corrupt on the rancid flesh of our enemies. If you are truly all that they say you are, you will go to Scumfill and face Grim Reaver, patron of evil. I want you to bring me his fang as proof that he is dead. This will not be an easy task, but it is not impossible. There is no shame in bringing friends with you on this venture. Let me see what he has for me. Abide here a moment and speak with me. So he's offering me a grand stair quest, so I'll do that at some point, but not right now. So let me head on over to the Shattered Refuge. And then we will go to Scumfill. Or actually, I need to pick up a few more quests first, obviously. Let me get on my pony for right now. Or my goat. And it looks like some of the quests are going to be over here. Let me speak with these fine gentlemen. I doubt that Lord Balin still lives. Kurgrim are disgusting creatures, feeding off the rotting flesh of the dead. I think it should be one's duty to destroy them. Nothing good can come of such behavior. Look for Bone Tooth and Old Nor, both Kurgrim. Find them and slay them, so they can no longer perform their vile acts upon the dead. You will find them in Skumfield, to the southeast of the Shadow Refuge. If we drive the orcs from Khazatum, will it be enough? The Kurgrim are foul creatures, consuming the dead for sustenance. How and why they found their way into Khazad Doom, I do not know, but they are here and something must be done about them. Odmar, Imar, and Glaraloth each have tasks associated with the Kurgrim and Scumfill that they may be willing to share with you. If you complete these, I will inform Vilfur that you have done all that I asked at Scumfill. You can find the three of them within the bounds of the Shattered Refuge here. So maybe up here. Let's see. Doesn't look like it, so it might be the elves in the cave. Let me keep heading south here. Actually, this guy has a quest string I didn't even notice. Oh, glorious day! We shall soon restore Moria! This task does not come from my dreams, but from the word, words of Thruster, who told me that these creatures bring disease. The Kurgrim and their ilk, the cave claws digging beneath the stone, tunneling towards their quarry, Tunneling towards the corpses they eat in Scumfill bring terrible disease. We must rid the place of these carriers in order to help purge the disease. 
You must go to Scumfield, southeast of the Shadow Refuge, and rid the place of these disease carriers. Alright, where are these other dwarves? I just don't want to miss anyone. Let me head in here and see if there are any quests. Some of these guys may try to give me some dark delving quests, which I won't pick up if that's the case. I'll leave that for the next episode. Stay a yeah, so these are dark delving quests. May go on and might you spare a moment of your time? The Kurgrim are rife with disease, this much is true, but I am not certain that they are behind the plague affecting the orcs. However, it is possible that they are, and so I ask you to collect samples from the Kurgrim and their ilk within Skumfil. You will find the place southeast from the Shadow Refuge. Take small strips of their hide and return it to me so that I might better determine if the Kurgrim are infected with the same kind of illness that plagues the orcs. Praise Elbereth, one who might be of help. In nature, as it is here, though more perverse and thoroughly corrupted, the insects dwelling within Scumfill will use the corpses of the orcs there to feed their young. It is possible that these Gredbig are bringing disease to the unsuspecting orcs who deliver the bodies to Scumfill. I have set Lar, Moggy, and Pentlin upon tasks needed to ensure that the insects within Scumfill are not responsible for the plague spreading among the orcs. Assist them as you can and I will see that every word reaches Vilfur of your support against the dangers of Scumfill. You will find my three agents here in the Shadow Refuge. Please, then be your ear for only a moment. I'm hoping to assess the disease spreading throughout the orcs within the 16th hall. Okay, so this is a 16th hall quest, so sorry, not gonna pick up that one yet. Praise Elbereth, one who might be of help. The malevolence of the great big of the deep dark Casa Doom is clear. What is unclear, however, is whether or not these insects bear disease or otherwise responsible for the plague affecting the orcs. I would ask that you collect the innards of these insects from within the area called Skumfil. I can better appreciate whether there is disease within the Great Big, and thus better inform Malas if the insects pose a greater threat to us than we expected. You can find Skumfield by heading to the southeast of the Shadow Refuge. Alright, so I think that was it for now. And then this guy. Praise Algrath, one who might be of help. So that's 16th Hall. Let me see if another quest opened up with this guy. Will you lend me your ear? Nope, still all dark delvings. Let me just triple check here at the end, make sure there's no other hidden elf with a quest or anything like that. Doesn't look like it. Let me head outside, see if any of the dwarves opened up any new quests. And then we'll head to Skumfil. again just to triple check there's nothing worse than doing an instance and finding out that you missed a quest along the way we have seen naught of Durin Bane be wary if you journey into Moria and there you go so a few more opened up here these great big have no thought of their own that is what I think I know that there is a big insect in Skumfil and wherever you find that you are sure to find what is in control there are other great big, though, smaller ones that have a bit of independence. Those are the nasty ones that I think we need to eliminate. So that is the task I will give to you. If you are willing to help me, you should make your way towards Skumfil, located to the southeast of the Shadow Refuge. You will find the warrior cast great big there. Kill Umathor, the large warrior, and its guards, then return to me here at the Shadow Refuge. We have little time to speak. Great events have been set in motion. The Great Big are an annoyance, plain and simple. There is not in particular a fine acceptable with these insects. The best way to deal with them is to rid Casa Doom of them completely, I say. So that is what I want done. Go to Skumfil and kill the Great Big there. There are many of these things that each and every one of them needs to be destroyed. It may seem a bit rash, perhaps, but insects should never grow this large. Skumfil can be found to the southeast of the Shadowed Refuge. Alright, let me ride here towards the end, make sure none of those dwarves have anything. Doesn't look like I see any quest ranks, so I think we're good to go. I think we're ready to head towards the instance. And again, you can always pull it up from the instance finder, but I prefer to go there for cinematic purposes, at least the first time around. 
So I can physically show you the location of the instance because a lot of the times just getting there is kind of fun. Drop over here. There's a lot of quests to be done there, of course. Let me try to drop down here without dying. Just one little edge at a time here. All right, let's go. Use my. Well, my force march was already on. I was being stupid. Oh my god. 50 seconds of broken legs. I might fast forward this until my legs recover. Oh man, that was ridiculous. That was the longest... Broken leg debuff of my life. It's alright though. Got sweet land here. Get my goat out. Probably gonna aggro some of these guys, but that's alright. Just gonna loop around here. Alright. And then let me fight these two guys that are chasing me here. Or never mind, they gave up. Great. So, much like this hunter quest in the Grand Stairs and this captain quest in Phil Goshen and this lore master quest within the Forges, we have a few quests My here within Scumfield. So this one's for the minstrels. Greetings, Skippin. There are many minstrels who wish to be watchers of resolve, but not all can accomplish their task alone. You should seek to aid your fellow minstrels along their path. Greatest danger your fellow will face is Deep Claw, Crack Tooth, in Scumfield. Go now and prove your honor. And then there's also a champion quest in here. Many foul things dwell in the depths of the mountains. I fear the orcs will be the least of our troubles. Well met, Kippen. There are many warriors, but there are few champions whose deeds will live through memory. There are such champions looking to prove their worth in Scumfield. Even the greatest heroes have need for friends to aid them, and my fellow champions are no exception. If you're up to the challenge, I would have you join one such champion and enter Skumfil. Once inside, aid the champion in defeating the Grout Bog known as Long Pincer. If you are successful, return to me. If not, well, I doubt you will be able to return to me. So, those quests again, I actually require a champion and a minstrel to be able to do them, so they may fester in my quest log for a while. But for now, it is time indeed to enter Skumfil. Let's go ahead and head inside. Since the overthrow of Moria, the orcs have disposed of their dead in the great chasm they call Skoomfeel. Over the ages, the rotting pile of carcasses and filth that has accumulated there has also attracted many foul and disgusting creatures, from the vile Gredbeak to the scavenging Kergrim. So this is a really cool instance, and like was mentioned here in the introduction, it's actually basically a graveyard for Moria. And a bunch of corpses get deposed of in here, as you can see all these pile of bones and flesh here. And the Kurgrim and Grebig are basically in a bit of a civil war, I want to say. Fighting for control here. Now what's interesting about this instance is that you actually have to run it a few times to do everything. Because there's a left side. And there's a right side. If you choose to do the left side, that path will open and the right side will block off permanently until you reset the instance. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with, I guess, the left side, maybe. We'll do that. I'll exit the instance. I'll come back in. I'll do the right side. Now, the final boss on the left side will drop half of a key. The final boss on the right side will drop the other half of the key. Combined, they will allow me to proceed downwards into a basement area and kill the final boss of the instance. So there's lots of work to do here. I'm going to go ahead and try to find a group to help me, and I'll see you in just a little bit. Alright, so this hunter from my kinship, Anise, is going to be helping me out. Always appreciate it. So again, we're going to be starting here with the left side. And as you approach these little groups, some of them will die because they're fighting each other. And then, of course, some of them will survive. Ah! 
Now there is a sword here for a deed. Go ahead and pick that puppy up. Excellent. And I'll keep moving. Now if you kill this bone tooth guy, that means you're committing to the left side, and then the right side will be blocked off. You at least for this boy. run. You So there you go, and then we can kind of clear these groups here, which I think is what I'll do. Because there's a lot of quests to kill a lot of stuff here, and even a couple of runs might not do it all. fight everything here. Well, it's just fun to just kill everything. It'll help, you, help me with my deeds as well. I'm gonna take full advantage of a max level helping me out. I know, I know, I'm being greedy. I know, I can't help it. By the way, I feel like I don't advertise enough for my kinship. These guys are great. You know, when I started recording this series, one of my biggest fears was that I would get stuck at an instance. You know, I'd be trying to 100% the game and I'd get to an instance and not be able to do it because I'll never find a group, but the Runic Knights here has always been more than willing to help me out when I need to do something, so I'm very thankful. And if you guys need help with anything as well, you know, there's always a home here. And I hope one day, once I'm higher level, to repay the kindness these guys have shown me by helping them out as well. And helping out some of their lower levels. So let's go down this left tunnel here. of deep claws. Let's go ahead and keep blasting these guys through here. All right. So this is the first boss here, Old Nar. Gonna be honest, I don't remember what he does, but we should focus on his adds first. Because I think they buff him up, if I'm not mistaken. Alright, excellent. So there is a strong box here. Make sure you loot that, of course. Go ahead and pass on that junk. I don't think there's anything through here. No. On a filth covered blade. Perfect. That's for the deed. I only got three, four spiny flesh things. So here's the final boss of that left side already. This is Brumberth. Brumberth, I guess. It's more appropriate. Let me pick up this dwarf shield. Part of the deed as well. Obviously. And by the way, I think the minstrel- It was either the minstrel or the captain quest was back in that room where we fought that boss just then. Alright. I love that we fight this boss on top of a pile of corpses. It's just excellent. So these guys do stun you, as you can see. And as long as he's alive, I will remain stunned. Now there are two corpses you have to loot here. The boss. And also this thing right here. So this is Grim Reaver. He'll actually be alive if we choose to do the right side. So I'll roll on that housing trophy. 
Now there is a quest item here that I picked up. So this is the stinking ward. This fragment found upon the Grodmog Queen appears to be have appears to have been sundered in twain. It is possible that this item can be used with another like item. You should find the second half of the object and show them to Gelren at the Shadow Refuge. So again, once I get the other half from the right side, then I'll be able to forge the key. So let me let my partner know here what's going on and then we'll continue. Let me reset the instance here. I don't know what I need to do to reset it. I think I'm going to start up a random instance and then remake Skumfil. So let me pull up any random instance here. Let's do that, I guess. And then I'll do that. Please. The gardens of Anuminas. And then One I'll leave. Now overgrown and fallen. And then I will do the stagnant waters of the gardens have become corrupted by the fell spirits of Angmar, and evil men do their bidding. I don't know if he actually went in that. I hope not. I hope he understood what I was trying to tell him. What's his name? Anise. in Galtrev. I don't know why I can't pull up. Well, let me just walk in here and see what happens. There you go. Since the overthrow of Moria, the orcs have disposed of their dead in the great chasm they call Skoomfeel. Over the ages, the rotting pile of carcasses and filth that has accumulated there has also attracted many foul and disgusting creatures from the vile bread beak and the scavenging care green. All right, so yeah, we'll uh, we'll kill this worm here, and that will open up the right side. Not worm, I guess it's a great big. Let's kill a few more of these because I still have a lot of quests I need to complete here. And I never got enough kills, I guess. You need more of the innards and a few other things, so. Kill that group right there. And then, I guess let me grab a few more of these as well. You know what, I'll just go aggro all these and let my friend do all the hard work. So let's go down that right side. Let me open up my quest and see how I'm doing. I 
think okay for the most part. I still need spiny flesh. Hopefully I'll collect it down this hall. And then all these other ones appear to be meta quests. Still need grod bog innards. I should be able to get those easily. There we go. A little blind drone right here. I don't know why I decided to fight him. I just wanted to make sure it's not part of a quest or anything. So here's another boss, Grog. He's going to summon some allies. And some of them buff, others do damage. I don't remember exactly what the mechanics are like, but we'll go ahead and just fight all four of these. And sometimes he hides down there, which can be annoying. There you go, perfect. So there is a strong box here. And then there's an item you can interact with here. I think all the way up there for the minstrel or the captain quest. I forgot which side was each. Really? I don't have enough room to do this? That really sucks. Let me see if I can... Oh my god, what a mess. Let me clear some spots here because I'm going to have to pick up some other junk. Including the other half of the key. All right. Let's keep moving. Wait, where am I going? This way. It looked like a dead end almost. Alright, so now this is the queen that we killed on the left side, and if you choose to go down the right path, she is dead. And Grim Reaver is alive, and then you fight him. It's really cool, because you'll do this AoE attack that sends you flying off the hill. You die. You not take food. Be afraid. I am silenced, which kind of sucks. Well, there you go. Now, again, make sure you're looting both corpses here. And should be good. There we go. Now, remember, we used to farm Skoomfill for a really strong item, although I forgot what it was exactly. I just remember it was good. All right, and I think that was everything. Let me see if there was anything else for me to pick up here. I don't think so. Yeah, so let me go turn in the quest so I can get the key, and then we will... We will move forward from there. Let me let my friend know what's going on. Alright, sorry. I was typing out instructions for him, so I'll be right back. Let me turn in that quest, and then should be able to do the final boss here in Skumfield. Let me put this on my tracker, because that's the one I'm trying to go for. Let me sell some junk real quick. No better craftsman than Durin's folk. Just so I have room for the items that I'm going to be getting in the final part of the instance here. Dang it, I really should have done this beforehand. I apologize, guys. Just real quick, just so I have enough room for the final phase here. There's so much junk. Look at all this junk. Think that's enough space? I think so. All right. Let's go turn this in real quick.
Uh, Gellerin sounds like an elf name, so let me go towards the elf area here. See Malos. There she is. What can I do for you? It is as I thought. This is the ward used to seal a doorway. If there are such doorways within Scumfield, it is possible that this item was used to allow passage. And look at that. Let me decline these real quick, but I am level freaking 68. Will you lend me your ear? Okay. So let me head back into Skumfil now. And now that I have the key, we can head down here. And then we can go through. And then once you have the key, you can unlock this door. So something to be aware of in this area is that these spiders respawn super, super fast. So you have to kind of make your way towards the boss by making pit stops if you are doing this on level. Otherwise, you can just blast through here. This is a great place to do your Slayer deeds because not only do you get spiders, but you also get Glob Snaga. All those count towards your Slayer deeds and it is just excellent. So... You could get lost forever here just fighting spiders because they do respawn that freaking quickly. But since I have somebody here, I might as well just aggro everything. So see, I've already completed Glob Snaga's Slayer. Alright, let's press forward and there is the final boss, Wandering. You can see, it's, it's gonna be pretty epic. Now, something that he does is, sometimes he'll stick his butt straight up in the air and then he'll poop out a poison cloud. If you stand in that poison cloud, you will do so much damage, or it will do so much damage to you that you will die very fast. So, if you see a green cloud, don't step in it. So, there are phases to it, so you can't just power through it. Alright, final phase. Sometimes he gets really mad and he walks around all creepy like that. But that is indeed the final boss. And the chest here is actually a fungal egg sack. And we can pass on all of this. And as you can see, there's just a ridiculous amount of spiders here. So it is great for your deeds. And I think they stop spawning after you kill the boss. So they don't respawn anymore. Look at that poor orc. Look at that poor orc up there. Not having a good day. Alright, so I think we're done. Let me tell my friend that that is it. No, they're still respawning as you can see. I'll let him know just as a piece of information for him. So let me head back to the Shadowed Refuge and turn in all these quests. Oh, this looks like a crash. This looks like a crash screen. Oh man, you can always tell. You just get that gut feeling. Look at that. Dang it. Alright, I'll be right back. Sorry guys. 
All right, I'm back after that disconnect. I did make a little bit more room in my inventory as well, so I can turn in these quests. She said that Durin's Bane dwells here. Oh, we have not seen it. It is good to know that we will no longer need to fear the likes of such creatures. Would that we should ever need to do battle against such terrible foes again. Alas, that is still not our lot. Still, you have done good work this day, Kippen. I thank you and will inform Thorster of your efforts. The Lords of Moria have returned! I will tell Thruster of your efforts. He will be pleased that this is done. I thank you, friend. I thank you. Dwarves must fight for dwarves. Excellent work. I shall inform my superior that you performed your task admirably and completely. You have my thanks. Dwarves must fight for dwarves. Glad to know that you met with good success. This proves that you are a decent warrior indeed. I will pass along word to your success to Malus. I thank you, friend. All right. Let me head into the little elf cave. There are more quests to turn in here, obviously. Mind my words, traveler. Never mind, that one just wants to give me dark delving quests. Please, stay a moment and, and this one tale. wants to give me 16th hall quests. The shadow has risen. I will take time to study these and determine if there is a threat to be found here. I will tell Malus of your efforts. I thank you for all you have done, Kippen. And now this guy only Praise wants to give me one who might be of help. 16th hall quest. Let me see what else is here. So again, the champion quest is going to have to fester for now. As is the minstrel quest. And then, what is this? Hmm. I wonder if I missed this quest. Eaters of the Dead. I think maybe if I turn this in, this one will work. I don't know. There we go. Silently now. Darkness approaches. It is clear that something within Moria has tainted these Gredbig. Now their numbers are fewer. You will be spoken well to in Vilfor. And you have my thanks, Kippen. Alright, and then this one. Hmm. Did I miss something in the instance? Or I think maybe if I head outside, it was like a meta quest. Let me see what this message was here. <laughs> Hold on. Alright guys, here is the problem. I don't know why it took me so long to figure that out, but basically... That right there. I only got 6 out of 12 spiny flesh. So that kind of sucks. That sucks. Because I need 6 more, and then once I finish this, then I can finish this part as well. Ah. I don't know what to do. I don't really want to ask someone to... Help me clear Skoomfill again. Because I feel like that would be a little cheap. Makes me feel a little guilty when I ask for that much help in, in kinship chat. But I don't know if I really have an option. Because I don't want that quest in my in my quest log. So let me see if I can kill a few more Kurgrim in there. And then we'll see what happens. Since the overthrow of Moria, the orcs have disposed of their dead in the great chasm they call Skoomfeel. 
Over the ages, the rotting pile of carcasses and filth that has accumulated there has also attracted many foul and disgusting creatures, from the vile Gredbeak to the scavenging Caregreen. Do you guys think I could solo this? I don't, but we'll see. Maybe I can. Maybe this isn't as bad as I thought it might be. Really? Ah, oh, he's healing. And he's summoning a bunch of stuff. I think I can solo it. It might just take me a while. Might be a little bit more entertaining for you guys to watch instead of just watching somebody else do it for me. Let me do a little bit of healing. Don't want to die. Really need to practice interrupting. Just trying to heal. Really, I should take care of all these stupid ants here. And I was hoping to out damage that heal, but obviously that didn't happen. So I'm pretty sure there's a low drop percent chance on the Kurgrims for for that item that I need. Let me double check though. The Kurgrim are not responsible for the disease, blah blah blah. I sent you to collect sample from Kurgrim's skin. So yes, I do need to fight some Kurgrims. Alright. I mean, let's do it, I guess. Oh, except the Kurgrim died on that one. That kind of sucks. So this fight is all for nothing. Yeah, I'm gonna need some help, so I'm gonna have to do editing again. Oh my god. So the drop rate on this was really low, so I'm just gonna play some of the footage of me farming with a couple of other people. And then hopefully that will kind of open up. I don't know, it's kind of crazy though, how low the drop rate on this was. It doesn't really make much sense.
this is me. I had to bribe people to come help me. He said he'd do it for free, but I'm a man of my word. Or a hobbit of my word, so I'm gonna send him the 10 gold I promised. Let me go turn this in. Alright. So yeah, I don't know why they made the drop rate so low for for the spiny flesh there. Doesn't make much sense to me, but you know what? Whatever. Hail friend and well met. It will take some time to examine these samples and determine whether the plague is the same or different than that borne by the Kurgrim. I will also inform Thruster that you have done as I asked. Thank you, friend. Alright, and now finally I can speak with Thruster. At least I did get a lot of deeds done in there. Turn this in real quick. Balin came, but we have heard no word from him. Your work here is complete in my eyes, Kippen. I will send word on to Vilfer and inform him that you have satisfied my needs here at the Shadowed Refuge. You have my thanks. Finally, let me return to the 21st hall. That way I can turn in this one right here. Have Grim Reaver's Fang. So let's turn that one in. Dwarves must fight for dwarves. This one is repeatable, I think, but anyways. I am tremendously impressed. You have done credit to your fame, great credit indeed. Something troubles me still though. By your description of this foe, it sounds like sounds to me like the evil will not be held at bay for long in this horrid scum fill. Do you think Grim Reaver is gone forever? You saw him best that I know, but my heart tells me that he will be back before long. A creature so strong and corrupted does not often fall after one defeat. Mark my words, there will be trouble again soon. So yeah, he's basically telling you this is a repeatable quest. But anyways, that's gonna do it for this episode. Sorry this one was a bit messy and required some editing, but... I didn't even realize that those spiny flesh... ...weren't dropping. But anyways, whatever. I'll see you guys in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed this instance. It's actually one of my favorite ones here, Moria. And I say that about every single instance, don't I? But that's because they did a great job with the Moria instances, I think. I'm rambling. See you guys next time.